now um, there's another uh, term that is rotation and uh, conversion period now uh, these are rotation we already understood about uh, rotation now we have to understand about um, conversion it's a period during which uh, a change from one silvicultural system to another is affected or from one species to another suppose a forest is there uh, we are following a regular uh, you know clear felling system in that and we want to shift from clear felling system to uniform system or to a selection system now the uh, crop or the forest instantly cannot be uh, converted from one silviculture system to another it takes a time the time is known as conversion period so and another aspect could be that we want to change uh, one species that it's a devdar species and we want to convert it into a pine forest so it will also take the time period and cannot be done instantly and the time taken will be called as conversion period now um, uh, we understood that when a silviculture system has to be changed or when a species has to be changed the conversion can be applied but uh, you know it is also applicable to the forest which have not been managed till now and now we want to manage it under a certain silviculture system that that means it did not follow the forest did not follow till now any of the scientific management systems or the silviculture system and is for the first time we are going to adopt any silviculture system on that forest so in that case also the conversion applies uh, just like a rotation we have a fixed rotation period say 10 years 20 years it is not necessary that we fix the conversion period but in certain cases uh, you know a conversion period may be fixed only uh, when uh, we want to change from one system to another system now conversion period is usually less than rotation or sometimes it may be more than rotation but in any case if it is more than rotation or uh, less than rotation the greater the difference between the conversion period and the rotation greater is the sacrifice of the crop sometimes we want to adjust to rotation to the uh, you know conversion to the rotation we have to Im uh, sacrifice the immature crop so as to uh, you know abide by the uh, uh, the rotation period that has been fixed now conversion period is usually kept less than rotation it is usually kept less than when it is desirable to remove mature crop that means we are sacrificing the crop why crop not likely to survive the full rotation crop has suffered from injury crop is openly or irregularly stocked crop is putting on small increment advanced growth is already present on the ground therefore time required for the replacement will be shortened and conversion period is very important consideration when conversion period is short the conversion period with the fast or the speed on the other hand if it is low the conversion is slow this is self explanatory uh, now we already studied about this that sacrifice of the uh, length of the conversion period has a direct influence on these things which is sacrifice of the immature crop proportion of sometimes sometimes uh, proportion of the over mature growing stock with negative increment suppose we uh, because of the consideration of uh, the um, uh, increase in the conversion period we have to retain the mature crop which is not giving any substantial increment rather having a negative increment now uh, sometimes it has it also influences in a way that gap between the age of first converted crop and the exploitable size at the end of the converger crop a gap is created between the two now what is the purpose of conversion why do we want to convert because we want a change in the composition of the crop we want increased yield from the forest you know sharp we there is a sharp increase in demand and we want to meet the demand of the paper industry packing industry cigarette industry we want uh, or we want to change uh, in silviculture system we want to change the mode of regeneration from artificial to natural or from natural to artificial the change in the character of the crop we want to change character of the crop without changing the mode of the regeneration now uh, we want to adopt a particular system because that has an advantage to the given site conditions uh, the, sometimes a silvicultural system is adopted at a place and it doesn't work and you have to revert back to the uh, you know older system like in case of uh, uniform uh, selection system if we 
to try to convert it into uniform system the regeneration uh, doesn't come up nicely and uh, one crop is not converted successfully into the uh, in from one periodic block to another periodic block so in that case we uh, need to revert back to the uh, original selection system so that 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 is where the conversion applies advances in silviculture knowledge and perfection of regeneration technique this care could be one of the reasons for conversion and uh, development of communications and increasing because there is an increase in demand we have to meet the demand and we in that case we may go from selection system to uniform system or the more robust uh, clear felling system these are the things which prompt you to uh, convert your uh, system from one uh, silviculture system to another so this is all about conversion thank you